welcome, I'm Abby and I will be guiding you through this practice today. So we are going to be continuing with our elements series with an earth focus flow. And this is going to be a mandala, an earth mandala, so we're going to be moving 360 around the mat, uh, which means at times you'll be facing away and that's fine, we might get a little bit lost. Um, just try and listen to the cues, listen to my voice, and we'll just give it a go. So when you're ready, come in down to any comfortable seated position and I will meet you there. Okay, so just making sure you've got any props that you might want today, your blocks, your bolsters, and then we're just going to start with a little bit of grounding. So find in your comfortable seat, take a big roll of shoulders hands going to face down today so palms facing down towards the knees maybe a slight grip of the knees with the fingertips but keep it soft keep it neutral rolling shoulders back close down the eyes take a deep breath okay so with this earth focus flow today we are going to be really thinking about grounding down finding that stable root and doesn't mean that we're going to be close to the mat the whole time we're actually going to be moving quite a lot today um, really trying to ground into this rooted stability so a little bit of balance we'll have a go at and also this earth focus is connected to our root chakra muladhara so ease in, opening into that hip space, the hamstrings as well. As always, choosing the movements, the variations that feel good in your body today. Taking a few more deep breaths as we start, we always want to take a little bit of time to ground in our practice, but even more so today. So really feeling that grounding down. Notice the areas of your body that are connected with your mat. Feeling fully supported here. Finding this stability in our practice on the mat. And then hopefully letting that transition into our life. It's a really good practice for it whenever we need to just feel a bit more focused, a bit more grounded, come back to center. Whenever life feels a little bit crazy, a little bit manic. Let's begin with a big releasing breath. Inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> Gently opening the eyes. On your next inhale, pull the hands towards you, slide the hands along the thighs, lift the chest, lift the head. Exhale, tuck chin to chest, dome the back, hands grip the knees. Inhale, lift and lengthen, open the spine. And exhale, reverse it. Two more like that. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, chin to chest, dome the back. Last one there. Inhale to lift. And exhale, reverse. On your next inhale, bring it back to centre. Roll shoulders back. Stay for your exhale. And then inhale, reach the arms up, interlace fingers, push the palms away, get that nice big stretch through sides of the waist. Try and allow the ribs, or not allow the ribs to flare out, try and pull them back slightly and then lift from the shoulders. Holding it there for one more. And then releasing hands by the sides, tabletop position when you're ready. So either crossing over the ankles or sweeping the legs around. Coming onto all fours. And again, take a moment here to feel rooted down. Notice all of those areas that connect with the mat. Push down through fingertips, through base knuckles. Feel where the knees and the tops of the feet connect with your mat here. And then on an inhale, we're gonna shift that weight slightly forward, keeping the flat back, and then exhale, send hips towards the heels. Inhale, moves body forward. 
exhale send it back two more just like that inhale forward and exhale we move back keeping that straight spine last one here inhale forward and exhale send it back inhale brings us back to that neutral position take the knees a little bit wider maybe big toes come to touch as we gently ease the weight back child's pose reach fingertips forward coming onto fingertips here if that feels comfortable relax the chest relax the forehead towards the mat take a little sway from side to side maybe a roll of the forehead if it connects maybe a movement through the hips Staying on fingertips, lifting the head roughly in line with shoulders. On your next inhale, just begin to lean towards the right. Look under right shoulder, a little twist. Exhale, moves through center. And then inhale across to the left. One more each way. Exhale through the center. Inhale, lift. And then exhale. Inhale to the left. Slowly exhale takes us through center. Inhale walks hands back towards the knees. Slowly roll up through the spine. Pause in for your exhale. And then inhale reach the arms up. And exhale left hand to the right thigh. Right fingertips behind. Inhale lengthen. Exhale look behind or to the side. One more breath. inhale reach back to neutral exhale right hand towards left thigh left fingertips behind inhale bringing it all the way back forward exhale plant the hands down in front knees come back parallel walk the hands ever so slightly more forward towards the top of your mat tuck the toes under take an inhale exhale for our downward facing dog when we arrive there finding our movement so wherever that is for you today the pedal through the feet the shake of the head making these movements as big as you would like to taking really full deep breaths and again feel grounded so pushing down through the hands and when we do come to stillness the heels edging in the direction of the mat does not matter how close they get but mainly pushing down through hands to send the chest back taking one more deep breath and then we're going to inhale roll the body forward find in your high plank exhale hover knees wave it back downward facing dog two more like that inhale roll the body forward and exhale bend knees downward facing dog last one there inhale forward exhale wave it back inhale right leg lifts bending into right knee as we begin to open up into the hip flex the right foot maybe taking a few circles into the ankle and keep shoulders squared as best we can take one more inhale and then exhale to step the right foot through the hands and then keep the left hand grounded inhale right arm lifts easy twist as we begin this mandala movement one breath there as we inhale gaze moves forward that right arm sweeps all the way around and then come into your high lunge reach the arms up take an inhale there to lengthen exhale to ease into your lunge one more inhale Bring the hands to chest, lean the weight forward. Exhale takes that left foot or left knee to the chest. So we come into a balance. Again, it might take a few goes, a few wobbles. Flex the left foot, engage through the glutes, find in that wobble, that stability through the right foot, right ankle. Hold it there, one more inhale. 
exhale slowly and controlled as we can we're going to step left foot back and come into our prasarita padottanasana or wide fold so sweep the arms up and over toes point in hands come to hips inhale roll the shoulders back and then exhale begin to wave the body down releasing the hands to wherever they reach maybe you want to bring in your block three deep breaths inhale lengthens chest exhale release down inhale find length exhale soften last one inhale lengthen and exhale fold it down inhale chest lifts exhale as best we can walking the hands around to the back of your mat now frame in the left foot tuck the right toes inhale send that left leg high three leg dog exhale downward facing dog optional vinyasa here inhale rolls body forward exhale either lower in the knees or through chaturanga lower the chest inhale roll the shoulders back cobra or up dog and then exhale, waves us back, downward facing dog. Take one deep breath there. And then right side goes again. So inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale this time, step it straight through. Inhale, easy twist, right arm lifts, open the chest, one deep breath. And then that right arm sweeps behind and look forward, high lunge, reach the arms up. Again, inhale to lengthen, exhale to squeeze the glutes, ease into that lunge. Inhale, hands come to heart center, shift the weight forward. Can we bring left knee to chest? Ooh. Root down through right foot, little engagement through Mula Bandha, through pelvic floor, through the core. One more breath. Inhale there. Exhale as we begin to send it back. So left foot moves back. Can we land the foot? Sweep the arms up and over. Point the toes in, heels slightly out, hands come to hips. Inhale, roll shoulders back. Exhale, we fold. Release down, lead with the chest. Take a few breaths. You could have a little bend in the knees. You could take a bit of movement. We inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Two more there. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, fold. Last one. Inhale, lift chest. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, find in our halfway lift. And then exhale, sweep or walk the hands around, frame left foot, tuck the back toes. Sweep left leg high, three leg dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, waves the body forward, high plank. Exhale on the knees or through chaturanga, we lower. Inhale, lift the chest. And then exhale, waves us back, downward facing dog. Couple of breaths there, option. Take your rest, take child's pose. Feel into any sensations moving through the body. And then we're gonna do that flow exactly the same again, left side, okay, when you're ready. Take an inhale, left leg lifts. Pop a bend in your left knee, begin to open up into the hip space. Again, option for a few little circles one way and the other with the ankle. Holding it there for one more inhale. Exhale, look towards the top of your mat. We step the left foot through as best we can. Inhale, left arm lifts as that right hand roots down. One breath in this twist. Slowly sending that left arm all the way around. Begin to look forward, high lunge, inhale. And take a moment to find the balance, find stability, feel rooted. And then next inhale, hands come to chest, the weight moves forward and we bring right knee to chest. It might take a few little steps. Bringing right knee in, take a moment there. Again, feel grounded through left foot. 
Feel strong in that left leg. Taking one more inhale. Exhale as we begin to send the right foot about midway on the mat. Land it down, inhale, sweeps the arms up and over, toes in, heels out, hands to hips. Roll the shoulders back and fold it down. Take an inhale, lift and lengthen through the chest. And then exhale, release down. Optional twist for this round if you would like to walk the hands towards that right ankle, right calf. Maybe getting a grab. And just take a few breaths to ease towards that right leg. Last one. If we went for that side on your inhale, moving through center, maybe taking a grab again of that left ankle, left calf. And one more breath to ease towards the left leg. And then slowly we all meet back in centre. One last breath. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale to sweep the hands around. Frame in the right foot. We turn the back toes. Taking the right leg high, three leg dog. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, waves the body forward, high plank. Exhale, knees or toes, vinyasa. Lift chest. And then wave it back to downward facing dog. One breath. Left side, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale to step. Inhale, left arm lifts. Right hand roots into the earth, into the mat. One breath. Left arm sweeps all the way around and forward. Find your way into your high lunge. Inhale. Exhale there. Inhale, hands to heart center, weight shifts forward. However we can, right knee to the chest. Flex the right foot. Squeeze into that left leg. Stay active, feel into all those wobbles. One more breath in. Exhale, sends the right foot towards the back of the mat, about halfway. Inhale, sweep the arms up and around, hands come to hips, toes in, heels out, last fold. Inhale, lift, and then exhale, fold it down. Once again, option to go for our twist. So if it felt good, go for it again. If not, stay here breathing in that fold. Walking the hands all the way over to that right ankle. Maybe left hand grabs the right ankle. If you did want a little bit more this round, you could reach the arm, right arm up or even right hand towards left thigh. Your choice. Relax the head, relax the neck. One more breath. If you went for that side, slowly release all the way through center. And then take right hand over towards left ankle, left calf. You could take left hand there as well. Or we inhale, lift left arm. And then exhale, either bind or keep that left arm reaching towards the ceiling, holding it there. One more breath. Everybody, slowly, slowly release. We meet back in center, take an inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, walking the hands around, framing the right foot. We tuck the back toes. Inhale, sweep that right leg all the way back. Three leg dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, rolls body forward, high plank. Exhale, knees or toes. Lower down. Inhale, lift the chest. And then exhale, either coming onto the knees or back to your downward dog. Take a child's pose or stay seated. And we're just gonna take a few breaths. We've got one more mandala round we're gonna do with a few different variations. So again, take this moment to feel rested, to feel grounded, to slow the breath. Take
take two more deep breaths wherever you are. As we add on a few balances or a few more balances for this next round, remember it does not matter if we wobble, if we fall, I will definitely will, no doubt. We are always coming back to this practice and working both physically through that stability, through the leg, through the ankle, um, but also just this practice of trying again coming back to the mat, giving it a go, see wherever we're at today. Okay, when you're ready, let's meet back in our downward facing dog. Take one deep breath. And then inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step the right foot forward. This time we're gonna walk fingertips forward, inhale, Lift the left leg, standing split. You may want your block towards the top of your mat, either for this one or the balance that we have coming up. So you could bring hands to a block. We'll just take a few breaths there, easing into that right leg. Relax the forehead, relax the jaw. One more breath. And then slowly that left foot lowers down to the mat to meet the right. Feet roughly hips width or toes together. Inhale, lift chest. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold it down. Inhale, wave the body up to standing. Reach the arms above the head, lift and lengthen. Exhale, hands through heart center, Tadasana. Okay, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center, root down through the right foot, and we're gonna lift the left leg, knee to chest, option to stay there, or we cross left ankle over just above the right knee and come into our standing pigeon or figure four chair. If you want a little more, you could reach the arms out, squeeze into that right glute, and again, just feel into these wobbles, keep the chest lifted, one more breath. As you inhale, push down through right foot. We'll all meet with left knee to chest. Hold it there. And then exhale, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. We're going to send the right arm down either towards your block or the mat, or you could even hover the hands. So see what we're feeling for. If we're not feeling this balance today, bring both hands down to the mat or your block. If we're in Ardha Chandrasana, lift and lengthen through the chest. Relax. Again, try not to crane the head. So we can take that gaze up. It's gonna make it a little bit more wobbly. But notice how that feels for your neck. One more inhale. And then exhale, bend through right knee. Can we step the left foot all the way to the back of our mat? Lift the arms. We're going for Skandasana left side. So we're gonna bring hands to heart center, turn the left toes to face the back and ease into your Skandasana, bending through left knee. So, whew. For some of us, we might want to stay up a little bit higher in our Skandasana today. That left heel can be lifted. Or maybe we just breathe into this hip space. So we might be up here, we might be here. One more breath. And then everybody root down left, or both hands frame the left foot. We tuck the back toes, sweep the left leg high, three leg dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog, optional vinyasa. As we inhale, roll the body forward. Exhale, knees or toes, lower down. Inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, downward facing dog for one breath. Okay, getting us back to the front of the mat, right side. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale to step. Inhale, walk fingertips forward, lift the left leg. One breath there this time. And slowly left foot releases down to the mat. Forward fold. And then inhale, roll to standing, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands move through heart center, Tadasana. Okay, we know where we're going now. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, hands to heart center, right foot roots down into the mat. Left leg comes to chest, flex the left foot, option to stay there or cross the left ankle over right knee. 
and ease into this figure four chair. Another variation for the second round, if you would like to release hands down either to your mat or a block, relax the chest towards the thighs, relax the head, relax the neck, taking it into this deep, deep stretch for the outer hip, for the glute. Wherever we are, let's stay for one more breath. And then everybody coming out of wherever we went to, we're gonna meet back with that left knee in the chest, into the chest, <laughs> take an inhale, Exhale, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. So begin to slowly, slowly transition. That right hand eases down towards a block or the mat. We lift the chest open there, open into this hip space. So think about actively rotating through the left hip, breathing deeply. You could even go, if it's available, if it's there for a grab of that left foot, left ankle. One more breath. And then everybody, wherever we are now, slowly begin to bend through that right knee as that left foot steps all the way to the front of our mat. Sweep the arms up and over, hands come to heart center, turn the left toes out, skandhasana, left side, bend left leg. So again, ease your way down. Deep breaths there into that hip space. Let's go for one more. And then framing left foot with the hands, turn the back toes, sweep the left leg high, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, maybe vinyasa, roll the body forward, exhale, knees or toes, inhale, lift chest, exhale, downward facing dog, pause in there for a couple of breaths, that final side, that left side to get us all the way around the mat. And then we are done. We're gonna to start to slow it down, stretch it out. So take a few breaths. <sighs> Maybe a clearing breath here. Inhale through the nose. Sigh it out. <sighs> Again, notice heat, notice sensation through the body. Come back to this feeling of being grounded, even through those balances, they're tricky. <sighs> We give it another go or we just pause. We feel grounded. We feel rooted. Okay. <laughs> Start to make your way back to downward dog. If we're not already there, let's go for it. Final side when you are ready. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale as we step. Inhale, fingertips move forward, standing split, right leg lifts. Again, option. Bring your hand to a block. Relax head, relax neck. Either keeping the hips squared or open into that hip space. What feels good? What do we need? Holding it there for one more. As we exhale, right foot joins the left. Uttanasana, fold it down. Inhale, rolls up through the spine. Reach the arms up. Exhale, Tadasana, hands through heart center, release. Okay, inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to heart center. Root down through left foot, right knee to chest. Flex right foot. Option to stay there or cross right ankle just above the knee and maybe begin to ease down into this either standing pigeon, figure ball chair, whatever you would like to call it. Lift the arms if that feels good. Open, actively open into right hip. So not just the knee, open from the hip space. Breathe in there. Let's hold it for one more. And then everybody inhale, coming back to standing. We'll meet ooh, with that right knee to chest. Exhale, make your way into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. So left hand comes down towards your block or the mat. Again, if we're not feeling for this one, this is a lot. You could bring both hands to a block and come into more of a supported warrior three. If we've gone for this half moon, Open the chest towards the side as best we can. Feel into that movement in the left foot. It's, ooh, it's gonna wobble, but try and keep toes forward. One more breath. 
and then bending into left leg, step the right foot all the way to the back of the mat, sweep the arms up and over, hands come to heart center, turn the right toes to face the back corner of your mat, bend right knee, Skandasana right side. Again, whew, option, we can lift this heel, you could stay up higher. Skandasana obviously a very deep and intense um, stretch into the hips. Hold where we need to be today. One more. And then sweeping the hands around, framing the right foot, tuck the back toes. Inhale, sweeps right leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, vinyasa, so lower chest. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. And then exhale, wave it back to downward facing dog. Last side to get us back to the front of the mat, take a deep breath. And then inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, take the step, fingertips move forward. Inhale, right leg lifts, standing split, one breath. Release right foot to meet the left. Forward fold, Uttanasana, inhale. Brings us all the way to standing, roll the body up. Reach the arms high. Exhale, hands through heart center. Tadasana, release. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, palms to chest. Inhale, root down through all four corners of that left foot. Bring the right knee in, flex the right toes. Again, your choice. Maybe stay in there today or crossing the right ankle over just above left knee. Figure four chair, and again, there's the option to stay where we are. Really stretching into the glutes, the outer hips. We'll take it into a fold. Relax head, relax neck. Let's take one more breath. And then everybody begin to make your way back, I can't do that side, coming up to standing, we'll all meet, right knee comes into chest, hands to heart center, take a deep breath in, exhale for that half moon if we're going to go for it this side, left hand comes down to your block or to the mat, so it would be ideal, which I should have said at the start, to have two blocks for this practice, um, if you use it for these balances. I'll remember next time. <laughs> Lift open through chest. Again, final option for this round. You could go for the grab of the ankle or the foot. One more breath. And then bending through left knee, step the right foot all the way to the front of the mat. Inhale, sweep the arms over, hands to heart center. Turn the right toes out, bend right knee, Skandasana. Whew. Again, that heel can be lifted. Sometimes my heel gets down, sometimes it doesn't. You can stay with the hands at heart center. You could reach hands down. And again, you're more than welcome to stay up a little higher today. Taking one more breath. And then hands come round to frame the right foot. Tuck the back toes. Inhale, sweep the right leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Maybe a final vinyasa if you would like to. Inhale forward, exhale through knees or toes as we lower. Inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, let's meet in our child's pose. Oh, release the chest towards the thighs. Take a little bit of movement from side to side. Option to take the hands behind. And breathe. One more deep breath here. Again, just feel all that energy that we've created moving through the body. And then super slow, begin to roll up to seated. And we're just gonna sweep the legs around. And 
And then if you do have a block, a bolster, a cushion, we're just gonna bring that nearby, ready for when we come down onto our backs. So come all the way with the soles of the feet on the mat, come to seated, wrap the arms just below the knees, take an inhale as we lift the chest, and then exhale, dome the back, tuck chin to chest, soften through the face, the head, the neck. And as we inhale again, begin to lift chest. And then as we exhale, begin to slowly peel the body down. When we arrive on our backs, hugging knees to chest. Take a gentle rock from side to side. And then option today, if you do have your block or your cushion or bolster, we bring soles of the feet down to the mat. And we're going to bring that block underneath the lower back on any setting that feels most comfortable for you. Now you could stay with soles of the feet down on the mat, hands by the sides. Or you could, if you felt for it, you could take the legs out long. And that's not only going to get into the lower back, but also going to take this stretch, the sensation into the hip flexors all through the front of the hips as well. So have a moment to... Have a little fidget, find somewhere that feels like the right amount of stretch, whatever setting the block needs to be on. Close down the eyes. And relax. And once again, come back to that feeling of being fully grounded, fully supported. Notice the shoulders where they connect with your mat. Can we allow them to be a little bit heavier? Maybe soles of the feet are down. Maybe it's just the heels on the mat. Again, just notice that connection, notice the feeling. I'll take a moment to fully appreciate where we are now that we took this time out of the day for ourselves to come back to center. In a moment of gratitude that we are able to move for the last few moments here Just staying here, staying present. With each exhale that we take, allow the body to soften down a little bit more. Okay, slowly when you're ready, begin to peel the hips up so we can pop the block, the bolster to the side, bringing the knees into the chest, take the arms out wide or cactus the arms and just take a drop of the knees from side to side. Taking as long as you need in these twists, 
move however feels good and you're more than welcome to stay down on your mat for a little bit longer but if you would like to move on with your day taking our rocks forwards and backwards and we will come to seal our practice together seated so make your way there keeping the eyes closed <clears throat> Take a roll back of the shoulders. And again, just rest in the palms facing down. Relax through the jaw, the forehead. Taking a moment here of gratitude, of thanks for this time on our mat, for this movement, for this practice. And then bringing the palms together bow the head in Anjali Mudra. Take one final deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, sigh it out. When you're ready, open in the eyes. Thank you everybody for joining me for this Earth Mandala practice today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you feel I don't know, just a little bit more in this space. So where we are now, a little bit less maybe distracted with all of whatever's going on in our lives. Any questions, any feedback, please do pop it in the comments. But yes, enjoy the rest of your day and I will hopefully practice with you again here very soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.